The big question is, did art imitate life or did life imitate art? We'll leave that for you to decide. Number 12. Female Presidency Is the United States of America ready to put a woman on the highest seat in the country? Are we ready for a female president? While there are no questions about the effectiveness of a female president, as women have proven themselves exceptional in the field of politics many, many times, the political landscape of the United States is filled with so many men that very few women have been able to walk through the corridors of power that leads to the White House. But do the Simpsons care about all this technical politicking? Not really. In the episode Back to the Future, Lisa becomes the first female president of the United States of America. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. In the episode, the country had gone broke due to the terrible financial decisions made by the fictional President Trump, and Lisa had to bring a tax hike to straighten things out a little. But with the 2024 elections coming up, maybe the Simpsons are ready to strike again. Many people claim that this one in particular has already been fulfilled, following the advent of Kamala Harris as the first black female vice president of the United States. But could we take it a step further? Could we be looking at the possibility of having a woman in the Oval Office? Once again, we'll have to wait and see. Number 11. Black Hole. Here's something that will definitely spook you out of your mind. We travel back to the 24th season of this show, and this time around, we're looking at the second episode, which aired on March 24, 2013, titled Treehouse of Horror 23. This episode follows the adventure of this dysfunctional family as they try to escape the wrath of a mysterious black hole, which threatens to swallow the entire Springfield into a world of darkness and nothingness. After accidentally creating this terrifying cosmic demon, Lisa takes it home to keep everyone safe from it. But as you already know, whenever the Simpsons are involved, chaos most definitely ensues. At the end of the day, the black hole eventually sucked all of Springfield, leaving Maggie alone in the ruined town. Now, while this is most definitely a work of fiction, many are worried that we could be on the edge of a catastrophic natural event, the likes of which our world has never experienced before. Although, according to scientists, the closest black hole to our planet is located some 1,560 light years away, so there's really no chance this could happen happen, but it's the Simpsons, and some of their most unprecedented prophecies have come to pass. So, should we be scared? Is 2024 the year of the end of the world as we know it? Number 10. Hover Cars of the Future You've probably seen this one in many sci-fi, futuristic movies, but The Simpsons did it even better. In episode 15 of season 16 of The Simpsons, titled Future Drama, Bart and Lisa see the future of the family, and what they saw was truly astonishing. In this supposed future, Home and Bart travel around in style as they cruise through the streets in their hover cars. With no tires, these bad boys can go anywhere, and the reference is a play on a technology that has been in research and development for many years. But could 2024 be the year we finally get to see the hover car? Before you dismiss this idea as wishful thinking, consider this. A company named Samson Sky, which is based in Oregon, is expected to begin deliveries of its switchblade flying car in 2024. The car has been in development for 14 years, and finally they are not just ready to showcase it to the whole world, but also to begin delivery to their customers. Finally, you can beat the stubborn traffics and avoid road rage by soaring high in the skies. But the big question is, would you also need a pilot license along with your driver's license to be able to operate this vehicle? We'll leave that for you to argue out. Number 9. Hologram Technology these days, technology is moving at such a fast pace, most of us can't keep up. But the Simpsons, they're miles ahead of us. In one of these episodes, Bart takes a look into the future through one of Professor Frink's thingamajig, and what he saw might just be a prophecy of things to come. Hologram for Bart Simpson. In this supposed future, a deadbeat Bart receives a hologram message inviting his band to a gig at the club. Hey, Dingus, your band can play at my club tonight. But how did The Simpsons develop the idea of the widespread use of the hologram technology? And could 2024 be the year when holograms become as commonplace as the cell phone? Maybe that's a huge leap, but you get the idea. As it stands now, the world has already been blessed with a fancy technology known as the Dreamic HD3 holograms. This fascinating three-sided holographic display case can show a 3D image of anyone and anything from anywhere in the world. 
Imagine sitting in your room and watching your boyfriend teach you the latest TikTok dance from way over there on the other side of the world. How cool would that be? While this amazing technology is only available in about 500 Best Buy stores nationwide, could we be looking at a more widespread use and maybe even a decompression of the platform within the year 2024? Sounds pretty ambitious, but if it ends up coming to pass, we'll always remember The Simpsons did it first. Number 8. Ivanka Trump's Presidency are the writers of The Simpsons obsessed with Donald Trump and his family? Before you answer this, consider the fact that in an episode of the series, which aired in October 2016, the writers dropped a subtle hint suggesting that Ivanka Trump, the daughter of the former U.S. President Donald Trump, would run for president. In this episode, Homer Simpson can be seen wearing a badge that said Ivanka 2028. Could this be another accurate prediction made by this series? Although Ivanka Trump has solidified her status as an imposing figure in the political landscape of the United States is the possibility of a presidency feasible. But that wasn't the first time Ivanka made an appearance on the show, at least her character did. She was also featured in a 2017 episode, where she replaced Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court while modeling a robe and earrings from her collection. Would an Ivanka Trump run for presidency come as a shock to you? We'll also leave that for you guys to argue out. Number 7. AI Goes Rogue with the recent massive development in the world of artificial intelligence, are we really sure that we are not empowering technology to take us out? Could we find ourselves at the mercy of our own creations in the near future? Before you dismiss this as an irrational fear propagated by conspiracy theorists, you should listen to this former Google chief engineer who lost his job after revealing to the world that the company's latest artificial intelligence had become sentient. There are similarities between how Lambda thinks and how people think or how humans think. This meant that it had evolved on its own and was able to feel things. Now that's super freakish. In the past, this would have been dismissed as pure lies, but coming from a man like Blake Lemoyne, who was a high-ranking engineer at Google before his appointment was terminated, everyone sat up and listened. But we were forewarned by The Simpsons. In the 1994 episodes titled Itchy and Scratchy Land, the family visited a spooky version of Disneyland, which was fully staffed by robots. As the scenes unfolded, the robots went haywire and began to murder every Everyone. While the possibility of this could be well far off from 2024, it raises a huge concern about how far we are willing to go with artificial intelligence. If this human creation evolves to a point where humanity becomes a bother, where do we run to? Number 6. Music-Induced Mind Control the government is trying to control you through a series of subconscious processes. This was the message many people got from the 14th episode of The Simpsons' 12th season. But can we really blame anyone for overthinking The Simpsons' predictions? After all, they've been right so many times. In this particular episode, a music producer selects Bart, Nelson, Milhouse, and Ralph to form the next hit boy band party posse. Sick name, right? But beneath the surface, there was a diabolical plan at play. In their hit song, Dropped a Bomb, which was accompanied by a music music video that featured the strange line even eat neo j in the chorus Party Posse subconsciously controlled the minds of the listeners, passing a subliminal message. When you spell this strange line backwards, it reads, Join the Navy. As the music spread far and wide, it began to take effect on the entire population of Springfield.